Welcome to this video about how to create a strategy for the development of rural areas. During the course, we have explored how to map strengths and weaknesses. We have learned to use trend analysis to map future opportunities. We have looked at issues around access to land and identified promising practices for new generations. For each of these topics, it is possible to develop actions and to identify actors who could play a role in the implementation of these actions. Now it is time to learn how to develop these actions into a coherent future strategy for your rural region. Let me begin by explaining what I mean with a future strategy. A future strategy for a region is a combination of actions that focus on achieving a specific aim. Achieving this aim is the central goal of the strategy. Areas develop strategies to create coherent plans that all contribute to the same long-term goal. And a strategy therefore requires some upfront thinking. For example, one can consider whether an aim is achievable and which actors can help to achieve this aim. As a strategy is relatively abstract, it contains multiple concrete actions. Actions, on the other hand, are a smaller and more concrete part of a strategy. In most cases, a strategy contains multiple actions. These actions help to implement the strategy and should contribute to achieving its aim. An action can consist of a newly introduced policy by the local or the national government, or of a practice that should be carried out by some other actor. These policies or practices are there because they support the strategy. A good future strategy is coherent. This means that the different actions all contribute to the broader aim. They should not exclude each other. One can reflect which actions are most important in the strategy and should be prioritized. Strategies are more long-term oriented than actions. So if an action fails, the strategy may still be continued and another action can be taken to achieve the aim of the strategy. To develop a future strategy, a first step is to reflect and decide on what you want to achieve. When deciding on the aim, it can be wise to consider strength, weaknesses and opportunities of the rural region for which a strategy is developed. A second step is to think of several actions that can contribute to achieving this aim. A third step is to write down which actors and organizations may impact the way you can achieve the aim. These actors and organizations may come from both inside as well as outside the region. It is important to think about whether these actors and organizations have the power to change matters and if they are likely to support the strategy. If not, one must think if and how they can be influenced in a way that they will support the strategy. Finally, a strategy should also contain a plan on how these actions can be implemented and how the relevant actors and organizations can contribute to this process of implementation. So let's look at an example on how to find a strategic aim. In many regions, we can see a negative spiral of rural development. There is a lack of opportunities for new generations who then move away to urban regions, which results in an aging population and even less opportunities for young generations. You've seen this graph before. So the strategic objective in this case is to create more opportunities for them in order to flip this negative spiral and start a positive process of rural development. As you can see, this aim is relatively abstract. Depending on the situation in each region, different concrete actions are needed to achieve this aim. For example, a region can create a policy to provide financial support to new farmers. This would be a concrete policy. But practices by non-institutional actors can also be part of the actions in a long-term strategy. For example, a large employer that provides more jobs for new generation helps to make the region more attractive. Hence, supporting the overarching aim of the strategy. So, once you have a clear aim, several concrete actions that consist of either policies or practices, an overview of actors and organization, that may have a role in the implementation, and all of these are based on the situation in a specific region, 
then you have developed a good future strategy.